My name's Dave Whitesley, I'm Technical Director of Envisage UK Limited and I'm going to uh, show you in this video uh, how to calculate the internal volume of a hopper inside Inventor. This could be any volume, um, not just a hopper but the, uh, the process is the same uh, for any form of internal volume of a model that you've created inside Inventor. So what we're going to do is start Inventor up. I've got a hopper that I've uh, modelled using um, sheet metal and the first thing we're going to do is uh, show where the top of the internal liquid or powder is going to be. So I'll just set that with a, um, an offset work plane, let's say minus 50 or something. Um, that's going to be the top of our uh, internal volume. And then I'm going to use the command uh, called Sculpt. Now this is in the surface modeling tools. Sculpt will find the uh, watertight volume between a mixture of um, surfaces and work planes. So to do that, we need to uh, cover or, or fill the, um, the bottom of the hopper. I'm going to do that using a uh, boundary patch, which is select the internal circle. That will create us a patch. Um, probably easier if I turn off the uh, translucency. You can see the patch surface that's been created. Um, Sculpt will, uh, will work with work planes, so the offset work plane at the top is fine. We've now got to convert these solids into surfaces and the easiest and quickest way of doing that is to use the delete face command. So I'm going to delete uh, the faces on these two parts of the solid. And if we get up close to that, you'll see that the face has been pulled away or taken away and the model has now been converted to a surface model. We know it's a surface model because in the browser it's got surface bodies. Okay, so now we can then go ahead and work with Sculpt. We select the surfaces, the offset plane. Whoops, I've selected a plane that I didn't want to select. So the surfaces, the top offset work plane, the bottom um, boundary patch, and you'll see straight away it's previewing the volume in green that's going to be created as, as a solid. Click on OK on that and you've now got a solid body representing the internal volume of the hopper. All we've got to do now is go to the properties of the model, go to the physical properties, and then you've got the volume of the uh, internal volume of the hopper up to the offset plane that I added at the beginning of the uh, model. So there you are, how to calculate the internal volume of a hopper or any other uh, 3D model inside Inventor. Thank you very much.